What's going on everyone? Today I wanted to rank all the home kits for the Euro teams. Um, so basically I looked at in depth at a few teams, um, including this England jersey. Um, so click uh, in, the, in the description and there's a playlist for those videos. Um, but today there's too many videos to make. So um, I'm just gonna go through all the teams jerseys and rank them one to 24. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you guys like the video, um, maybe I'll do an away version too, cause it's, um, if I do the home one, I should probably do the away jerseys too. Um, because, uh, this, this Euro has some really great shirts. Make sure you like and subscribe and let's get straight to the rankings. Starting with number 24, we're going to go last or my least favorite to favorite. And, uh, number 24, last place is going to be Czech Republic. Um, now this jersey is just, eh, it's just boring to me. There's nothing wrong with it, but there's just nothing that makes it like look cool. Um, it, it's like kind of like the bare minimum. And also that shade of red is just not very like intimidating. It's kind of soft red. I don't, that's just my opinion. Um, the one good thing is they got a nice logo basically. Um, but that's pretty much it. Like I have no, nothing else to say about this kit. So I had to put it last. So yeah. Um, number 23 is going to be Spain. So this is probably going to be a, a surprise to some people, um, but I don't know why, but these stripe, the striping just does not work for me. It just does not look like a, like a, a football kit. Um, just the style of it. It looks like a, a t-shirt with some weird stripes. Um, they've got a nice logo. They've got the nice stripes on top. Um, even if it was just plain red without that like striping, it'd be way better. But I don't know why, if it was maybe symmetrical, it would look better. But in my opinion, just does not work. But um, I know some people like it. So, yeah. Number 22 is going to be Belgium. Now, Belgium changed a lot since their last uh, last World Cup, I guess. Um, they made a new logo, which I'm not a fan of. I like their last logo um, a little more. This one's okay, more classical. Um, not too sure of the history behind it. I'm not a big Belgian fan, but um, it's okay. But I like their last one more. But uh, these stripes just don't work for me. They're a little too distracting. Um, I, I like it more when they have one and it goes from the corner of the jersey to the to the shoulder. But this one, they've done it from the waist to the shoulder. And then it just doesn't... I don't know why. It's just what I think. Um, but yeah, maybe if they uh, left off um, that black stripe, it just looks like a tire went over it and screeched or a uh, skid mark or something but yeah just a little bit too distracting for me and it also just kind of stops at the shoulder so it's like cut off so i don't know why it just doesn't work for me but i like the stripes i'm um, going down from the armpit um that's probably the only positive so number 21 is going to be hungry now this jersey it's like it's from 2017 when they just released the kits that had the striping coming down from the armpit um, and it looks like it hasn't changed. Um, not too fan. I'm not a huge fan on the, the two logos. I know a lot of the European countries use like a shield from their from their uh, flag and then they also have the, the Federation logo. But I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but you know what, this one's okay, but it's kind of the bare minimum again. But they did add a little bit of striping and the hoops along the middle of the jersey. But that's pretty much it. So I had to put it near the bottom. Number 20 is going to be North Macedonia. Now, they actually had nicer jerseys, um, but I couldn't find a picture of them because they changed back to their old ones for some reason because it didn't match their flag colors or something. So they had to switch back to their older jerseys, which they just look, they look like they're from 2010. Um, I don't like that, that sport striping. It looks kind of like a Sunday league jersey. Um, but I think it's cool with like the sun. Um, the sunshine i think that's from their flag i'm pretty sure that's pretty cool um but just the collar and those weird kind of stripes going down the the sides of the the waist i guess just not my favorite thing um but yeah not the worst but definitely not the best number 19 is going to be russia um now they have the one of the the best logos in my opinion but they just ruined it with this weird design um on the front of the jersey um it looks like they just got it dirty like stains because the top of the jersey is nice plain red with the white and a nice collar but then they just added this weird design with a different shade of red um well multiple different shades of red um and i'm not a big fan of the huge um what's it called uh the collar of this part of the shirt too the, the sleeves um not a huge fan of those um but yeah it's okay 
but just not a fan of this uh, this kind of abstract um, art on the front. Um, number 18 is going to be Ukraine. Um, now the one this is one of the coolest details I know. Um, if you look closely at the um, around the logo, it's actually got a map of the country. So I thought that was really cool. Um, but it just there's just nothing else on this jersey. And also it doesn't really look well when the logo's in the middle, but then the brand is on the corner. See with this England jersey, they put the Nike swoosh here. Um, so it's all match and lines up. Um, but this one just kind of looks off. It looks like they have they're missing something. I'm pretty wait. I'm wondering if they they put a number there. Um, they might do that, which will even it out. Um, but they might put it in the middle too. So we'll see. Um, but I thought that was a really cool design with the map. That was really cool. But other than that, it's just kind of plain and boring. Um, I like the sleeves, but that's pretty much it. Number 17 is going to be Turkey. Um, now this one's basically the bare minimum as well. Um, I, I do like it, how they put everything in the middle. I like that. Um, not a big fan of the two shades of red. I think it would be cooler if they made that lighter shade white and then did the, the logo in the middle um, red. So it would kind of look more crisp. But you know what? It's okay, but they didn't really add any creativity to it. So that's why I had to put it near the bottom. Uh, number 16 is going to be Poland. Um, I, I put it down here. I do like the logo, but Poland has basically had the same jersey for like the last 10 years. I'm, it's just boring. They never really add much to it. Um, their away one is basically the opposite of this with the red. Um, the red and white just inverted. Um, so I think I like that one more. Um, I'll put that higher up in my away kit um, rankings. Hopefully that will come out in a couple days. Um, but yeah, just not a big fan of this one. It's just kind of boring. Um, and it would, I think it would look better with like a, a line down, down here. Like if they add this part red, it would look a little bit better, but not a big fan. Number 15. So Germany, um, Germany, this is a nice kit. The one problem I had was these stripes going across and they're not fully, I saw this one in person at a store. And the stripes are kind of like faded out. So it looks like someone used like a, a kind of like a dead marker and put stripes across. And it's kind of fading while you color it in. Um, so I think it would look way better if they did like just the solid black lines. And then also the stripes coming down from the armpit kind of stop here. They stop like right there. And then they stop halfway or down the waist. Um, which I think it makes it look like a practice kit. Um, but they've got a great logo. I like the sleeves. And um, just the bottom of the jersey, I don't like that shape. Not not a big fan. Um, but yeah, everything else, probably from the top up, is really nice. But uh, just not the great greatest design of those stripes and um, the Adidas stripes on the armpit side. All right, number 14. Now, this is where the jerseys, I kind of like them all. Like, I would wear definitely wear all of these ones. Um, but uh, this one, just the lowest out of these ones. But yeah, I like most of these ones now. Um, so this would be Scotland. I've got an old Scotland jersey, their last one, um, but that, this one's actually nicer um, than that one. Um, uh, no. Um, so this one basically has um, these nice lines, and I like this one more than the Germany one. So they both kind of did the same design, but a little bit differently. Um, and I like the stripes up here when there's stripes in the in the jersey. I like stripes on the shoulders, um, so it doesn't collide. Um, and the sleeves are good. Um, but yeah, I think I'd like to. I'd like to see this with flat lines going across instead of like the faded kind of jagged ones. Um, but it's pretty cool. I haven't seen a jersey like this before. Um, so yeah, not a bad jersey. Number 13 is going to be Croatia. Um, now Croatia, I think the one bad thing I don't didn't like about this was the collar. It, it's kind of got that weird V if you notice. Um, and I just don't think it looks good with the rest of the jersey. Um, and the arms too. The arms are kind of they're kind of curved up. I think they should have one solid um, one solid like line to look like another square, um, but it just doesn't really match the the squareness. All the squares round, and then it has a curve um, on the arms. So I don't know why they did there. Um, and also in the armpits, you can see right here it's kind of got some cut off part. So I'm not sure how they did it there. I know it's tough to do those squares, but just the designing. Um, just not the best quality, um, but I do like that that blue stripe that cuts through uh, down the armpit. Um, that was a good choice, um, but yeah, just not a fan of the collar and the sleeves. 
Number 12 is going to be Switzerland. Now this one I really like. Um, I really like those faded kind of little lines because you can barely see them. Um, unlike Germany where you that's the first thing you notice, um, this one you have to look closely. Um, and I also like that dark red on the on the shoulder, sorry. Um, but I, I'm just still not a fan of those the two logos instead of just the one badge. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much uh, it. Kind of boring, but um, nothing nothing to say about about it. Number 11 is going to be Portugal. Um, now this one I think I like more than their last World Cup jersey. Um, it's very simple, but I love the classic look of it. Um, just the collar and the and the sleeves and then the go stripes going down the armpit, they all match together. And it's just nice, simple, and it lo I love how it matches the logo design um, of the Portugal logo. So yeah, nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy here, but very simple, but very clean number 10 is going to be France um, now this one uh, I think they did kind of like a, a retro version of their old like 90s jerseys they always seem to have a, a red stripe going across but I do like those ones more this one looks like it kind of looks like the same kit all the way through and then they said hey let's add a red stripe quickly put that on there so I wish they kind of incorporated that better um, kind of faded into it more or had a better design because it looks like someone just went across and just said red um, but yeah, not much else to say about it, but yeah, pretty solid. I like the hoops, but yeah, just the red stripe just doesn't look as good as the older ones. Number nine is going to be Austria. Now I love this one so much because it reminds me of the old Arsenal jerseys, of course. Um, let's take this Arsenal jersey for example. I just love how it has the white arms and, uh, the red just the plain red in the middle and the white arms and a white collar. Um, not not too similar jerseys, but similar enough. Um, and I just like that collar and the sleeves and the, and the small little designs um, incorporated into the red of the jersey. It's nothing too crazy, but this is a perfect simple jersey. Number eight is going to be Finland. Now this one is really cool. I uh, haven't seen anything like this one before. Um, but a lot of the Nordic countries have that flag of the of the kind of the, the cross going on the side, um, and this one's probably one of the best ones. Um, I do like how they faded it, but I would like to see um, if they did that all in the light blue, the whole cross in the light blue. That would look, in my opinion, maybe a little bit better because um, the the blue basically is almost black, which I don't think they have on their flag. Um, so I don't think they should go that dark with that blue. But you know, it's okay. But a uh, pretty cool design, creative, and I like it. Number seven is going to be the one I'm wearing, England. Um, now this one's basically the perfect uh, example of a simple jersey, but a really creative one. Um, so they, uh, they've they modernized the center logo with the collar too. I think the collar is one of the nicest ones. If you can look closely, it's got a blue and a red stripe along with that dark blue, dark blue around it so nice and it's got the same design on the shoulder or under the armpits of course um most of the nike ones do but i think this one is one of the best nike jerseys um but yeah the white is kind of boring i think it would have been perfect if they had it along the sleeves this same color along right here but yeah solid jersey number six is going to be denmark now i just watched them play in this um when they just uh well uh, not the best match because Christian Eriksen um, almost died. So we're praying for Christian Eriksen. Hopefully he gets better and we see him back on the field soon. But that was a pretty scary incident. Um, but they were wearing good jerseys. Um, I did like them. Ryan, reminds me of that Arsenal jersey again. I just love the plain red with the white, um, white, white sleeves. And then the Hummel uh, chevrons look so nice. Um, nothing too crazy, but this is a perfect simple jersey. Now, number five, I think this is my top rated, um, oh no, second rated highest um, Adidas jersey. Um, now, that logo is so cool. Um, I love that logo. Probably one of my favorites of the Euros. Um, and just so simple, um, but such a clean jersey with the sleeves and the yellow stripes at the top. There's nothing else to say about it, but just super simple, but super clean. Number four, basically the exact same thing, but Sweden, but I just like the color combinations a little bit more. Um, so yeah, exact same thing, super simple, but really clean. 
Number three is going to be Italy. Um, now, they Italy changed their logo, which I don't mind. It looks really good. Um, and I love that design inside the blue. It's a uh, kind of like a heritage jersey, but it doesn't. It's not too distracting. And I love that gold finish in the Puma. And I think they wear gold numbers and names too. So, and the collar too. The collar is great. Um, just the one thing I would take off is the little squiggly things kind of above the collarbone. They're kind of distracting and take away from the heritage look, but it's totally fine. Number two is going to be Holland or the Netherlands. Um, now this one's probably one of the nicest ones for sure. That's why I rated it too, of course. Um, and it's so nice with that artistic kind of lion looking um, design in, in the middle or all around the jersey. And then I, in my opinion, they've got the best logo. Just that uh, the roaring lion go like that. Um, just nothing can beat it. Um, and I'm pretty sure the Nike logo is black. It looks silver on this photo, but it's black um, in person. Um, yeah, and the color's perfect. This is literally the perfect jersey um, with a perfect like design inside the color, inside the colors of the jersey. Um, and I love that black striping along the armpit. So yeah. And number one is gonna be Slovakia. Now Slovakia, I think has the nicest jersey um, that's why I rated it number one and you'll, you'll be surprised because I said I don't like the middle the three logos But their design of this blue is just so good I had to put it at number one and their collar if you look at their collar It's kind of off and not symmetrical which I've never seen before But I think I like it because the one goes like this and the other one kind of cuts across like that. I Think this jersey is just perfect um, That design it looks like it's kind of like an abstract mountain range look but oh my god, it's so clean, so nice. Um, this is one of the perfect jerseys um, of the Euros. Um, yeah, so that's going to be number one on our list. Can you guys comment down below your number one, maybe your least favorite or favorite? And um, make, we're going to do a we're going to do an away kit jersey ranking. Um, I like doing this one, so uh, let's do an away kit um, rankings, and we'll post that one next. So make sure you like and subscribe and uh, you'll be there for the next video. Thanks guys. <laughs>